And now, EQ Alert. And here's the unofficial, self-proclaimed EQ Alert guy. Hi, EQ guy here. There was a 4.1 Richter's earthquake that struck at South Carolina last night. I was really shocked when I turned on the latest earthquakes and saw I had to look twice. And it said South Carolina, right in the middle of all of the severe winter weather that they're getting down there in South Carolina too. And um, it's one of the things we watch for with that much severe winter weather is that there's liable to be an earthquake right around the center of the weather. And underneath the light of that February full moon last night too, you uh, would expect uh, severe winter earthquakes. And we're kind of watching for the correlation with the full moon earthquakes. And yesterday late last night at uh, South Carolina, we got both. Approximately three hours after the exact moment of the full moon too. So it was one of those that hit um, very close. So, as a result of the 4.1 South Carolina, we know there is tectonic plate movement. We will have to continue to watch areas such as Jamaica, uh, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Cuba, and possibly for more shaking in South Carolina, but we'll also want to watch up around Richmond, um, Connecticut, and New York and New Jersey for earthquakes too. This movement of the tectonic plate does mean that ultimately there may be uh, a big one for California or our west coast too. Those are major things that we are going to be watching for. Now, let us cut to the video I made of my Valentine's Day working in Chicago film production. Don't forget there are major shakers coming and now cut to my day of Chicago film production from beautiful downtown Chicago. Hi EQ guy here. Today we are going to enjoy some Chicago film production. And that's about as much as I'm allowed to tell you because uh, they don't like me to give out the names of uh, productions and stuff like that. So now for, uh, uh, so with that said, let's move on to some film production. And a couple of shots like we're going to go down, be in downtown Chicago and stuff like that. And actually the exact moment of the full moon as I stand here on Friday, Valentine's Day, exact moment of it, it comes down to an exact second, will be in a couple of hours. It's like uh, um, 5.55 hour time, I'm in Chicago, so it's 2, 3, 4, 5, about 2 or 3 hour, couple hours, it will be the exact moment of the full moon and there's been a couple of earthquakes that have been known to happen near the exact moment the uh, so anyways the uh, full moon is going to be a couple hours from now and so let's get on with our uh, Chicago a tour of Chicago a couple of pretty good sites I think you're going to enjoy it and I want to thank you again for watching so enjoy Chicago and thank you for watching Behind me here is film production. I can't tell you the name of the production, and we can't go in any closer to show any of the production itself. So this is as close as we're going to get today to film production, a block away. But thank you again for watching. Here is the Hancock Tower right about behind me here. I think you can see that pretty good. Here is Chicago Water Tower. It is the same water tower that was involved in the Chicago fire when the whole city burned down. These two structures here survived the fire. It burned down all of this here, where it's now uh, hotels, and this is all Michigan Avenue. That was all gone. The fire jumped the river, came all the way up to here, and continued on. But it left that historic building there. I'll give you a close-up of it here. This is WGN, and that is Lourdes Duarte right there interviewing somebody. It looks like she's going to go live. I am not kidding. This is incredible that this is. Look, her microphone has a 9 on it. Have you ever seen anything like that? Look, let me. I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to get a close-up here of Lourdes Duarte. And she's in action, too. No kidding. This, this is real. Watch this. 
This is real good stuff. There she is right now. She's talking. And there, and there you have it. That's probably live. That's probably Channel 9. We're working film production today. Sorry, I can't tell you what project we're working on. And we're in downtown Chicago. That's all you need. So thank you for watching. Yes, there's the sunset. <laughs> it's going to be dark here pretty soon. Uh, we're still busy in production. We're right here. Maybe you can see the Lake Shore Drive there in the background. That's Lake Shore Drive. That's the Belmont Yacht Club. And that is the sunset. Thank you for watching. Very good day of working on Chicago film production there. That was a pretty good video. I couldn't wait to get home and and um, produce that. And so we're making this video here today to get this out of the way. So, be watching for more earthquakes, and even around the area where they had the um, earthquake in the first place in the uh, South Carolina, full moon will be gone, but plate tectonics uh, may be triggered somewhat by the full moon, but plate tectonics being plate tectonics, it will, the chance will continue for earthquakes after the end of the full moon window, which will end roughly this weekend. One thing we know, know for sure is that there is a lot more earthquakes coming, so keep watching for them. And this is the EQ Alert Guy saying thank you for watching. This has been the latest EQ Alert featuring the EQ Alert Guy.